guys while you saw it. I sold my 2020 ZX6R to buy a 20... What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, the new build is loaded up on the bike. We're gonna start heading home. We have a long drive to get home, then we can start getting into this. We're back in the garage, as you can see, the new ZX6R is in here. It's looking good. We're not so good right now, but we're gonna make it look better, obviously. can see we have a lot of damage on the bike some hidden damage for sure but we can't really see because it's really dirty so I'm gonna pull it outside give it a wash bring it back in and we're gonna talk about all the damage that's on this motorcycle guys the bike is now back in the garage we have it all cleaned up let's talk about the many damages that i've seen so far because i'm sure there's always something hidden so starting from this rear corner since this is the less damaged side as you can see uh, this bike has been down before it looks like there's some scrapes over here nothing crazy we can paint that you guys have seen it before so going forward as you can see there's something going on with the shift lever over here as you can see that's way too low i believe this shift rudder was just installed incorrectly because as you can see it's contacting on the kickstand over here the bike was not down on this side so that's something to figure out moving forward the radiator is completely destroyed as you can see it's sitting on an angle sticking out way more over here and way less on the other side if we drop down low that tire is way too close to the header it should not be that way i'm hoping it's just a case of bent forks because i do have a forks or set of forks that i can throw on this bike from a different bike but i think it's going to work just right so that's something that i need to look into over on the right hand side you can see where the radiator took the impact right there not looking good at all the coolant reservoir is completely busted the front air, ram air intake with the ducts, all of that, the fairing stay, the headlight, I did not get any of that with this bike purchase. No fairings, absolutely no fairings came with this bike. So it's it's very interesting because I've never had to do that at the auction before. Usually there's some parts you can pick up here and there. There was absolutely nothing. Going down over here, as you can see, uh, the timing cover over here is missing one of the plugs. I don't even know how that would happen. And it has a crack over here obvious stuff the rear seats is completely gouged same over here the fairing over here is completely missing did not get that again like i said this exhaust damage multiple spots the shifter on this side or the brake lever on this side it's completely destroyed um so we're gonna need to get some new rear sets for sure uh, but the most concerning thing is that when i picked up this bike as you can see there is no oil in the side class right now the bike is completely level no oil even when it's leaning over to this side the right side there's still no oil showing in there so that goes without saying that is the most concerning part of this purchase so far no oil i don't know how long this bike was run without oil obviously there's no coolant but the bike will run for some time without cooling without causing any damage so before i'm gonna start getting parts in or start diving too deep into this i need to put some oil in here Make sure the bike does run and run properly. And then we can get this build on the way. And obviously, as you can see, the gas tank has a deep gouge or dent in here. Same for over here too. You probably can't really see it, but the dent is right over here. Not good. I am going to try to save this gas tank. I'm not exactly sure how possible that's going to be. But you guys are going to find out. Hi guys, well, you saw it. I sold my 2020 ZX6R to buy a 2010 ZX6R. 
a bit backward, right? Well, here is why. I did not want to wreck my beautiful 2020 ZX-R doing what I intend to do with this bike. So that's why we have this. So today's goal is to start up a ZX-R. Like I said before, there's absolutely no oil, no coolant. But I'm more concerned about the engine not having any oil and running for a long time. So before we can get into this video, before we can start getting parts and start rebuilding this, we need to make sure that we have a working engine. Remember when I said there is always hidden damage? Look at this. It doesn't look like there's much damage over here until you come right here. What we have there, boys and girls, is a cracked frame. So obviously right off the bat that's way more damage than I, expe I expected going into this but we're obviously not going to give up now if we have a good engine it's still what to fix for exactly what i have planned for this motorcycle right now i'm going to open up this timing cover i want to make sure there's no debris nothing in here before i attempt to start this engine let's do that then we can throw in some brand new fluid and see if this engine works And this is why it's a good idea to check before you run the engine. As you can see, there's a good chunk of metal over here from this crankcase cover that was cracked. So now I'm gonna take it out. We wanna clean out some of this over here, close it back up. We are gonna lose some oil from this area, but that's okay. Throw in some new oil, like I mentioned before, and then we can start it up. But before we can do that, we gotta drain the current oil and see what it's looking like. So I'm hoping when I remove this drain plug, we do have some oil come out. So there's some oil, but there's some water in there. That's not horrible just yet. While the oil is draining, I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and remove the exhaust headers, just because I wanna drop the oil pan and make sure that all the internals, at least there's nothing that left in there that could possibly damage this engine if we start it up. It's better to be searching going into something like this. As you can clearly tell from what I'm doing, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the radiator since that's busted and has to be replaced. So there's no reason to have it on the motorcycle. That way it's gonna give me easier access to remove those headers. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the wiring harness for the fan for the radiator. It's connected right here. A bit hard to show you guys, but it's right here. That's the one right there. And with that disconnected, we should be ready to pull out this rod assembly. Yeah. All right, now we have the rad out, as you can see, really busted up. As you can see with the right radio out we have lots of room to remove these headers it is possible to get this done without removing the rad but since the rad is going to be replaced might as well so i'm going to remove the headers right now and drop that down then we can remove the oil pan inspect it see what the internals look like if there's no worries over there close it up throw some new oil and start it up Oh. 
And just like that, we have the headers out. All right, guys, as you can see right now, we have the oil pan dropped. There are some little bits of uh, material in there. I'm not sure exactly what it is. As you can see, there's still some sign of water in the oil over there. Not terribly bad. So I'm gonna completely clean this out, reinstall it, and then we can throw in some new engine oil. And just like that, guys, I've completely cleaned out this oil pan. I've cleaned all the mating surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss it on the bike, completely secure it, and we can throw in some new engine oil. You can see our filter is out, the oil filter assembly is cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and install a new oil filter, some new oil, like I said, and we can start this puppy up. As you all know, I'm always using one of the best in the game, Amps Oil 10W40 Full Synthetic Oil. I always throw this in all my motorcycles. Let's get it going. And just like that, guys, we have enough oil in the bike. Obviously, it needs to run, circulate, and it's gonna drop down a little bit. But now, on to the next problem that is gonna give us difficulty in starting this bike. So over here at the top, on the right handlebar, the kill switch or the start-stop switch, whatever you want to call it, is completely destroyed. So I'm going to need to open this up, jump the wires in order to start this motorcycle. Now I'm going to remove the kill switch. Now, as you can see, I have the kill switch open. What I'm pretty much gonna do is loop this, bypass it, and then just use just this to start the motorcycle, if that makes any sense. Let's do that real quick, and then we can see if this actually works. And just like that, we have the kill switch bypassed. We're ready to install the instrument cluster or the speedometer, meter, whatever you want to call it. We're gonna try starting the motorcycle and see how shit sounds. Fingers crossed, everything is okay. Let's do it. So interesting enough, when this bike was listed at auction, it said no key, no start. Obviously I know it doesn't start because there was a whole bunch of things, but I did find the key right in here. I just was messing around and the key was in there. So that was a really good find. Super happy about that because I was not really looking into buying a new ignition set for this bike. So the fact that I got the key is a bonus already. Now let's see if this can get even better by this bike starting and sounding good. start it's just the header right now and that's why it's super loud but it does start i'm going to connect the muffler back on just to make sure she sounds good all right muffler is now connected starting her up
my gosh, she does start, she sounds just perfect. This is super good news, guys. You have no idea. Super good stuff. So the bike does start, the engine sounds really healthy. That's one less thing to worry about, really. I'm super happy about that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and order a bunch of parts for this thing. We can start tearing it into it. We can start opening stuff up, replacing stuff, making it even sound better and look better too. Thank you for watching. That's all the time I have for today's video. If you enjoyed videos like this, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. Be sure to drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the brand new build for the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. I got nightmares in my head, I fear. The thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy uh, And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer No exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I'm bad enough I don't want to feel the stuff Under the rug, all my problems that I shove I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere